time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Wednesday, December 20th hope all is well looky what we have here we've got some red now down below the expected move for the day vix up to almost 13 s p down 25 we've got uh probably 10 wide for tranche one maybe maybe 15. So I'm going to be trading full size. Don't necessarily love the price action coming in hot, but like the premiums. So I'm going to follow the plan and let it roll. I've got my uh, bots turned on for both a normal day and a down day in case we get into down day territory. S P SPX currently down 0.56%. Um, and it's probably actually a little bit less than that as far as trade steward goes. So most likely it'll take a normal, at least on tranche one, unless this thing keeps dropping like a rock. Hopefully it's getting it out of its system here and then it's going to calm down for power hour, but we shall see. Yeah, I've got some longs that are now worth a buck. Long puts. Might as well go ahead and sell those. Glad you mentioned that. SPX down 34. I mean, was it the Bank of Canada popping off? Is that what did it? Canadians trying to push this thing lower for us? That's the only thing I really saw on uh, or the ECB. Made some comments. Gotta love those Canadians. Bumblebee, are you a Canadian? If so, thank you. Thank you for your service. Oh, India. All right, never mind. <laughs> Any Canadians in the house? Hopefully you guys can't hear that construction noise in the background. It's annoying for me, but as long as you guys can't hear it, it's good. Mirage, you're Canadian. All right. Looks like we may get 15 wide, maybe 20. Still a couple minutes before entry. Kelvin, you can't hear me? Everybody else good on audio? Okay. VIX up to 13.48. S&P's down over 40. Should be in down day territory.
So my tranche one for down day, I've got my time set at, I'll start trying to enter at 2.55 and 30 seconds. So here in about a minute. Getting a little bounce now. So depending on trade steward uses five seconds after the open as it's open. So I may be in normal day territory now. I kind of marked down on the close. We'll see what my bot does. I'm just going to let my bot roll. Should be trying to enter now. Normal day, I think it's a minute difference. Yeah, my normal day is 56 minutes and 30 seconds. So looks like it got back up into normal day territory for the bots. Right on the edge. Uh, I saw in Financial Juice, Bank of Canada just made some comments about. Uh, agreed that the risks to the inflation outlook remained and it still may be necessary to increase the policy rate. That was right before. All right. Tranche one in. I'm on the 4740 calls, 4725 puts, so 15 wide. And that's a normal day. Tranche one. Turning. I thought Canadians were already communist. So got a little bounce coming back down. Man, it feels good to be 15 wide, doesn't it? Just feels good. Maybe a loser, but feels good. My two, three, I had an order in to close half at 20%. Now it's back down to even after that big flush. My one, two was up about 5%. Now it's down about 25%. Uh, I won't, I'm not going to do a duck today, but if we get a little follow through tomorrow, I did just add a uh, a new time fly before we jumped on. Nasdaq slightly the weakest of the bunch, down a full percent. Gold slightly red, silver slightly green, notes and bonds green, 10-year yield down 1%. Oil flat, natty gas down 2%. Grains red, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin up 4%. VIX up 7%.
Tranche one, I got filled at 710 and 715. So 430, I will reduce my stop on tranche one if we get there. Krish, does your client know that we're 15 wide today? They need to reschedule. I mean, have a little consideration. Okay, there's a 20 year bond auction. Let's see, what was that at 1230? The Bank of Canada meeting minutes was at 1230. Oh yeah, the 20, okay. 20 year bond was at noon. But I mean, it traded sideways for 30 minutes. Maybe we're just getting a little downside for because we need it. So my tranche one's trading at 10.15, stops at 11.12. So going to need a bounce here. Tranche one's going to be toast. I'm not closing my BNB now. I might consider by end of day because I don't want it to be just a directional play, but I'm going to hold it for now. VIX up to 13.57. Nice, naughty dog. Still hitting lows of day, 4719. 47.18. Should be getting stopped. Stopped on tranche one. All right, so I'm gonna wait for tranche two now. That is some red. VIX now up 9%. VIX futures up 6.5. S&P down 50 now. NASDAQ down 200. Yeah, it's a day like this where I wish my bot would not have closed my puts on my quiet lunch in my PM Iron Condor, I'd, the ones that I closed was a uh, a manual re-entry, kind of a discretionary re-entry trade. 
So that helped a little bit, but. Nice, Dick K. The time fly that I just put on before power hour. It's already way left of center. Started right of center. Up there, D22 will prop up tomorrow for us. Take half my three four off for twenty percent. It's uh still green on the rest, but not as green. SPX still pushing new lows. Tranche two will most certainly be my down day version. Vix trying to creep to 14, 1384. And a forty seven ten S and P down fifty seven. A little bounce off forty seven ten. Q 
Chad. That was mostly from your uh from your lungs. Nice. Very nice. All right, tranche two here in about four minutes. We'll bounce from 47.10 up to 47.24, a 15 point bounce. like 20 wide for tranche two potentially. I'm doing my down day version for tranche two. SPX is currently down 0.92% from the open. We get a little follow through tomorrow. Might be able to do some VXX verticals. I'd like to see the the annual IV get a little at least above fifty. The monthly IV percentiles creeping up to ninety four, so that's good. All right, so tranche two should be coming in here in the next few seconds. Filled on the 25 wide for tranche two. It's been a while, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. 25 wide. We've got some work to do to make up for tranche one.
was gonna do <clears throat> I was gonna do a two five DTE double calendar, but I think I'm gonna pass on that. Wednesday two five. You made it through getting stopped out on tranche one, Kelvin. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, mine was mine was close. You got an error in your trade log, Meech? Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen that. Where was that posted? Is that in your bot activity? Yeah, I, I definitely, I didn't get that. SPX bouncing up to 47.27. Bix back down to 13.23. Who's Geo Roge? <laughs> <laughs> Is that his name now? I'm going to start calling him that. <laughs> well, Tron's 2 not liking this bounce. It stops at 15 on Tron 2. Currently trading at thirteen eighty five. Simmer back down there below 4730. There you go. Trunch three down day here in about a little less than five minutes.
A little pullback in VIX off that bounce. Below 47.10, currently at 47.28. Did take some futures trades today. Booked twelve hundred on soybeans, lost six fifty on notes, lost twelve ninety on gold, lost four twenty five on on the euro. So net down about a thousand for the day. I have they're they're surprisingly liquid. You got thousands of contracts of uh, open interest. It's closed right now, so you're seeing bid wide bid ask spreads, but it's a little wide. But I've done it before. Not not something I do on a regular basis by any means. Down to 24. Tranche three should be coming in here shortly. Looks like we're going to get the 30s and 10s, maybe. 30s and 15s. Oh, yeah, I'm on $3. $3 strikes. Build at 825. That was on the 30s and 15s. So anywhere between 15 and 30 is my sweet spot.
Tranche two is now up So my tranche two is actually a trailing stop. So I got to trail those. Crunch three is also a trailing stop. Okay. Crunch so two, I got filled at seven. So I'll reduce my stop on tranche two at 420. Tranche three, I got filled at 825. I'll reduce my stop at 495 on tranche three. Morrow, I thought you weren't trading today. What happened? Couldn't hold back. It's a good way to look at it, Andrew K. All right, back down to 13s. X back up to 13.58. Oh, I am uh I need to reduce my stop on tranche two down to three. Seven twenty, sit down to twenty cents. All right, reduce stop on tranche two.
Tranche two is now at 50%. It's uh, the 4705s, 4730. Tranche three is up 27%. I'm on the 1530s. Tranche four is seven twenty two million sell side. Heading towards lows of day. <clears throat> Currently at eleven thirty, low is forty seven ten forty one. Dix has not gotten back up to highs of day. Meech, did you figure out what was wrong with your bots? Feel free to send me the link if you want. Oh, yep, I did that once. Gotcha. Yeah, I bet for you that's really good where you can't necessarily be in front of your computer at certain times.
No, I can't imagine Toss will ever do automated bots. The only broker I've heard of looking into doing an automation is um, Tradier, as far as good options trading platforms. But I'm sure they're a ways away. New lows, 4708. Prefer to be above 15s. VIX isn't moving much. Yeah, White Tiger, if we could preferably get that move overnight tonight, that'd be best. A little 50-point drop overnight. Yeah, Bumblebee, it's pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy. So I'll show you an example. I think this is this is my Monday AM trade. So I'm looking for four dollars of premium on the shorts. So short put four dollars. It's a three to two ratio, so I'm doing three puts, two calls, zero DTE. I want to buy the five cent wings up to a max of 80 wide. Same thing on the call side. Quantity, number of contracts, entry time, days of the week to enter. And then there's some other things like entry speed. I use turbo just so if it doesn't get filled right away, it just cancels and replaces every two seconds. Uh, trade exit, I've got a 50% profit target. So you set your profit target here. Set your stop loss. Put the as a dollar amount or percentage or whatever you want. And then max trades per day one. That's it. So essentially what, what you'd be doing is you'd be taking the uh, criteria from option omega or whatever your criteria is for that is for your trade and you just go step by step fill in once you once you get used to it it literally takes a minute to set one up they don't like italians tomorrow sorry they're racist yeah bianca i got stopped on tranche one i did 
Um, I think if I would have been doing it manually, I would have done my down day trade. And it sounds like the down days didn't get stopped, but my bot took the normal day. So I got stopped. No, unfortunately, White Tiger, that was a request of mine and they can't do that. Which would have been nice today. So my bot, my puts got sold, but so I didn't get on any of my bot trades. I didn't benefit from those longs kicking in. But I would also imagine over time, the fact that it sells them is going to net you out more positive over over time than letting five and ten cent. Bids expire, but you hate it when it when you have a day like this. Oh yeah, tranche three needs to be reduced down to three bucks. So six ninety five. So buck thirty. Oh, yes. Correct. Trading naked. Thank you. I missed a dollar. Minus 30, not 130. But I also need to trail it as it continues to go down. Tranche two is trading for a buck thirty. Looks like pin central today, Elliot. <laughs> Not that I want to jinx it for anyone. Three. Launch two trading for a buck.
You can just hover right here for another 14 minutes. We'll be in good shape. Yeah, I guess I'll close my BNB. I really don't want just a big upside directional play overnight. look at it so i've got the 47.95 and the Got in at six twenty five. Yeah, I'm not interested in taking that kind of risk of another gap down and full loss. So, yeah, I'm going to close it. Well, there goes my calendar win streak. It's doing good for a while. I will hold my 2-3, which is it's down about 15%. But I don't mind holding that one. I'll, I'll keep the keep some overnight risk on. Well, Mara, we got half of our 100-point down move today. I told you we would. We'll get the rest overnight. Tranche two down to 50 cents with 10 minutes to go. I don't know if that's worth risking. One point four billion buy side is the final market on close. I mean, my trance two has all the way down to the 05s, all the way up to the up 
4730, so I guess I'll collect that extra 50 cents. Tranche three is at the 15s and 30s, so I need to I need that one to stay above 15. I'll make a game time decision here in about four minutes. Don't need new lows of day. Just need to simmer in. Simmer in above 15s. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I removed all profit targets in the bot when I first set them up because that's how I did my OCOs. So in case I wanted to get out, it was easy to just cancel or replace them. But with the bots, I don't, I don't need that. So I just, um, you know, if I'm going to exit, I just click the little red X and it closes it. So I don't need a profit target in there. So I just, I removed the time and 90% profit targets. And a 13. I need about 15 for tranche three. Tranche three is currently trading at 380. My stop's now at 475. So if it keeps going down, that may make it stopped. Stopped on tranche three for profit. Now I just need to stay above 47.05. So I made 28% on uh, tranche three. Creeping down towards lows of day. So here's my zero DTE summary for the day. So AM ratio, 70 minute, booked 18%. JSPs booked 50%. Lost on my quiet lunch. Lost on my PM iron condor. Lost on tranche one. One on tranche three. And then tranche two is looking solid so far. So net, net on my zero DTE, I'm down about 4,000. I pin here, be down about three three k on the day for zero DTE total. On the on doing like VXX verticals, Dick. I will if there's some follow through tomorrow for sure. Oh, oh, the Bollinger Band VIX. 
<laughs> New lows of day, 4706. So remind me, Dick, what is it? SPX is supposed to bounce tomorrow? Yeah, I'll take that bet. <laughs> I think we close lower tomorrow. I need to stay above 05 right now, though. Yep, barbecue and... Barbecue for you and uh, whatever whatever it was for me. I don't remember. Down below 04. I need 05. 4702. This is not a good close. This is not the close I was looking for. All right. It's on Dick K. SPX is going to close lower than it does today. I'll see you in power hour tomorrow for that final tally. I got stopped out for a profit on tranche two. For a final profit on tranche two of 2,900, 52%. No pin but still profitable. And overall power hour, let's see, lost 4,400 on tranche one, made 2,800 on tranche two, 2,300. So slightly green for power hour. Could have been a lot better. I was hoping it would be a lot better, but it's green. Let's stay on here for another two minutes. Let's see where this thing shakes out. I mean, we haven't seen a red bar like this since October. Can you ship oysters, Dick? Hey, I like raw oysters. I'm out. I got stopped out, Ken. I was, I have a, on the down days, I have a trailing stop. So I got stopped out for profit. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't check my heart rate. Oh, you're going to lose. That's pretty much a guarantee. Calling my shot. Ten seconds. <laughs> you got lucky last time. Close at 46.98. S&P down 68. Almost 1.5% lower. VIX never did make it back up to its high. VIX closing at 13.77. Russell down a full 2%. NASDAQ down 1.5%. All right, let's go. Let's get bloody overnight, my friends. Blood in the streets. That's what I want. All right, all. Good times. Have a good night. Uh, as far as live stream tomorrow, let me double check. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, so Chad's streaming in the morning. And then we will be back for Power Hour. All right, y'all. Take care.